Hey everybody, Chris here again. You join Off-Road. Wrapping up this 2002 E350 V10 came to us down from Virginia and we did everything. So I'll get started running my mouth. So 2002 V10, it's got a 4R100 behind the V10. Had that pulled for a full rebuild. Have you do torque converter and all the normal upgrades that our guys do to the 4R100s when they come out. Behind that, we've got an NV271 TK, manual shift, of course. Got a six inch lift, custom spec springs, front and rear. A 35, 35 inch Toyo AT3, a 35, 12, 50, 17 on these method wheels. I believe they're the 705 method wheels. Super nice, simple, clean, classic design. Really happy with those. Frame got a full cleaning, primered and then painted. Single Fox 2.0. You can see the custom Alcan springs. Up front, we've got our front bumper loaded up with Baja Design lights, worn winch, front receiver, OBA plug, Anderson plug, and the uh, U-joint Agency 6 Fairlead and a Factor 55 thimble. Up front, we went with the big dog axle, stage three, 456 gears, Detroit True Track. <clears throat> All the usual stuff, crossover steering, track bar hiding behind that stock front f-series sway bar and uh yeah all the stage three parts come from dynatrack so it's got dynatrack knuckles from the knuckles out is all dynatrack so dynatrack knuckles spindles hubs 35 spline stub shafts all that good stuff uh it does have our onboard air s pod under the hood bushwhacker flares it's got our aluminum side steps s pod there in the door it's got all the front bumper lights, the onboard air, the roof rack lights, and the reverse lights. So the reverse lights have an the reverse lights have an override circuit, so you can turn them on whenever you want. They come on automatically when you put it in reverse, of course, but then you can hit this and turn on the rear lights whenever you want. In the back, we've got the stock semi-float Dana 60, re-geared to 456 with an ox locker. We did add our overload airbags, shorten the fuel tank. Out back, we've got our rear bumper. This is the rear bumper with the Pelican case. We've got a new seven-way and four-way plug combo there and buried it in the skin. There's the rear OBA port and also the airbag Schraders. Out back, we've got a rear skid. Here you can see the aux locker and the stock axle. Um, this thing had already had some exhaust work. They didn't do a real good job, so we reworked that tailpipe and got it looking better it was actually hitting the axle when it came in so I fixed that for him while it was here on this side we've got an aluminum s ladder and we've got a full length roof rack out back we put the camera there got one baja design light there got two on each side the customer provided us this changing room and the road shower so we mounted that to the driver's side and on the passenger side, we've got a 10-foot Fiyama awning. Super nice. There's two more Baja designs. Let's see if I can get up here and get you a view of the rack. Like I said, full flooring on the rack. All eighth-inch aluminum, dimple dyed for strength. And really helps keep the temperatures down inside. Helps the air conditioning work better. sidestep so yeah that's it lots to cover really nice van drives amazing as usual and i think the customer is going to be really happy with it so if you have any questions leave them in the comments or shoot me an email chris at youjoinoffroad.com if you don't follow us on facebook and instagram please do and uh hope i covered everything have a great day